Jim, you must be pretty delighted with that, a 1-0 win over Aberdeen. Yeah, uh, we couldn't ask any more, James, to be honest. Um, you know, we we worked hard during the week. We gave Aberdeen, you know, the respect that they deserve. They're a very, very good side. Um, they've been a top four team now for years and obviously still involved in Europe. So we knew it was going to be a tough game. We knew how physical they were um, and we knew that we were going to have to stand up and be counted. And I think all the players... Each to a man, uh, done that, and um, you know I'm really, really pleased for them because you know they were disappointed after last weekend not to have came back from Edinburgh with something, and um, you know today to to stay in the game for as long as they they did, um, you know, and, and managed to hold on to that goal advantage uh, in the manner that they did was really, really pleasing. You must be pleased with what you're seeing, especially everybody knows about the disappointment of the Betfred Cup, but to have pushed Hibs as far as we did last week and then to get three points today, you must see what's coming together from what you're doing on the training pitch. No, definitely. Look, I mean, I, you know, of course we work hard on the training pitch. That, you know, we, we don't do any different to any other... Uh, coaching staff out there but it's up to the players at the end of the day you know you can put the best game plan uh, together if you want you can put on the best training sessions you want but if you don't have the players that can implement your ideas on the park then you've got nothing so it's all about the players at the end of the day um, their attitude and commitment last weekend was brilliant and we accepted defeat last weekend because of that you know it wasn't a sloppy performance Hibs were the better team in the day probably deserved the win and you know that's fine we come back down the road but today I asked them if they could go and hit those levels again and give us the same commitment the same effort because that's what good teams do you know good teams do performances like that consistently now we've had two back to back very good performances and that's the most pleasing thing for me um, in an ideal world we would do better on the ball you know I think we, we will improve there's no doubt about it you know the majority of the group have only been together for the last couple of weeks so they're still taking time to get used to my ideas but I want us to be better on the ball um, I want us to be braver on it and you know take more time on it and take more care of it but um, you know I can't be over critical today you know Aberdeen as I said are a good side they're in your face they don't give you a great deal of time on the ball so today wasn't pretty it was more about um, you know can we stand up and be counted that you know are we a soft touch or are we going to you know get in their faces and, and stick it out and I thought the players each to a man done that. Just um, on a personal level for you it was your first home league match in charge as manager how did that feel? It was great. I mean, I didn't know. Uh, you know, at the end of the game, you're like, it felt as if we'd we'd won the league. To be honest with you, um, you know, obviously can't allow ourselves to get carried away. It was it's three points in the second league game of the season against a very good opposition. But I think the the, the supporters today can appreciate the effort and the commitment of the the players, and you know that's why they backed me all those years as a player. You know they. They knew I cared about the club, they knew I was proud to represent the jersey and, and that's what I think they're seeing from our players just now. And you know, the supporters are no different than me, they'll accept defeat in the right manner. Nobody will accept defeat if we get turned over easy, but you know, that was a real dogged, you know, gritty performance where, you know, we had to dig in and you know, we weren't able to get our better players on the ball as much as I would like. But um, you know that's a great place for us to start. I think uh, we have got some good footballers in the squad, technically that want to handle the ball and and want us to get the ball down and play. But um, I think the performance that we see there today, the clean sheet, the organisation, the commitment, is a great platform for us to, to start with. How pleased were you for Ilkay getting his goal as well? Because he came close a couple of times last week to get it today and took it really well. Really nice finish. He did. It was a great goal and it was everything that we worked on during the week. You know. Um, we spoke about dropping off the game, allowing Aberdeen centre-halves time in the ball and when we won it back in the middle of the pitch, we had to counter-attack at pace and we done that. Kyle McGuinness broke off into that area brilliantly and uh, and then had the the intelligence and the awareness to to see Ilkay's run on the edge of the box and you know the way to pass from Kyle was perfect. Ilkay could just walk onto it and, and, and pass it into the back of the net. But you know He's been a big player for us in the last couple of games. Ilkay, um, the conditions probably didn't suit in terms of you know trying to get him on the ball. But uh, he put in a shift for the team, you know. And there was great performances right, right throughout. James, to be honest, I thought Vaclav in goal was excellent. He came for crosses at times when he, he had to be brave and come out into a lot of bodies. Two centre halves were outstanding in what was a really physical game. The two boys in the middle of the pitch, Flinney and Sam, picked up every second ball and um, you know didn't allow the Aberdeen midfield any time on it. And there were so many uh, big performances out of possession that was really pleasing for me we will get better on the ball we will create more chances and we will make better decisions in the final third uh, as time goes on because the players will have a better understanding of what we're asking but also of what each other's capable of 
But right now, I think the organisation and the commitment is a huge positive for me to take. And a wee uh, mention for Callum Waters as well, who only came in Friday and played the full game today. Listen, I think that's as good a debut as you're, you're going to see, to be honest with you. You know, it was a, a position in the park that we knew we needed to sort out. We've been trying for the last month um, to get Callum. I tried for the last three years to get Callum back from Kilmarnock when I was at Alloa um, and to no avail. But, you know, this is the level he should be playing at. You know, and he's wasted sitting in the stand at Kilmarnock and I'm delighted that they agreed to allow him to come to ourselves. Um, you know, the, the boy Taylor Achilles took a lot of plaudits and he's an excellent fullback, but... You know, that's the level that Callum needs to get to because I believe in him wholeheartedly and I think that he has got a great future ahead of him in the game. He's had a disappointing last couple of years in terms of game time, but we're really pleased that he's here and he's a, he's a great boy. You know, that he'll, he'll settle into the dressing room, um, no problem at all as well. Over 4,600 St Mirren fans here today. I mean, it's a great... I mean, you just have to look at the weather um, today and the, the fact that it's a Sunday game as well. That's a great level of support. How encouraging is that for you and the players? Really encouraging, James, yeah. And, um, you know, 4,600 is great, but we want more, you know, and we want, you know, everybody to bring people with them. And if the, the more performances we put on like today, uh, that will hopefully get more people through the turnstiles. You know, that's the bottom line. We, we know the fans are there. You know, they backed the, the club to the hilt tail end of last season. There was a full house here in the playoffs against United. So we know the supporters are there. It's up to me and the players to give them a product on the park that they believe is worth spending their hard-earned money on. And that's what we're going to do. You know, there's more fans out there. We want to get this place bouncing. I thought the supporters were outstanding, honestly, all day. They really were. Um, you know, the, the guys in W7 were were terrific as well. Uh, I found myself tapping along to that OB catch and I thought it was brilliant, man. <laughs> you know, I turned around to the, to the bench and I'm like, how good is that? So, listen, it's... It's a positive place, you know. Let let all the people outside of our club talk us down, and let them be negative, and uh, let them, you know, tell us that we don't stand a chance. I know we, I know we have a chance. I believe in that group of players in there, and I think you know that the fans are starting to get on side as well and believe that, you know, we are capable of good things. You know, let's not get carried away. It's only three points in the second league game of the season, but you know, let's be positive. Let's be more optimistic and. And let's continue to have that level of atmosphere uh, in here going forward. Yeah, I think a lot of us will have that Obika tune stuck in our heads tonight. Uh, just finally, there was a, a poignant moment in the 35th minute. Uh, the stadium, the full applause for Fiona McCaskill, a St Mirren fan that passed away. I'm sure you would have known Fiona from your time here as a player. How um, kind of nice a moment was that to, to see the, the kind of support she got? Nah, listen, it was lovely. and um, I met Fiona numerous occasions throughout my playing career here and um, you know very sad news when I heard it so of course you know we the club comes together when things like that happen to to one of our own so um, you know we we give our best to to the family and um, and it was a really fitting moment I thought and a great tribute from the supporters to her family but uh, you know also for the players to cap it off with all three points I, I don't think you could have got a much better day for them. Jim, thanks very much for your Thank time. Thank you. Top man, James. Cheers, thanks. Cheers.